This is my top 10 favorite garbage trucks I have ever filmed. I'm going to first start with honorable mentions. Coming in f on my first honorable mention is just this garbage truck that I filmed so many times, the Autocar ACX McNeilis Contender Front Loader with the Corrado Can. This is my normal garbage truck, and I have filmed it very, very many times, and it has been fin videoed on my channel very many times. Second coming in is this Mac LR McNeilis Meridian with the Corrado Can on it. It is an awesome truck, and I filmed it many a time as well. Um, I've always loved the design of the Meridian. It is one of my favorite body designs, probably my favorite front loader design, I'd have to say. And my uh, recycling guy has always ran this truck really, really well. Um, it's always looked pretty shiny, which is another thing I liked, and I can't wait for my garbage man to get one eventually. So we'll, there will be two. Coming in third on my honorable mentions is this McNeilis Contender Autocar ACX. It's got a carry can instead of a Corrado can on it, though. It is the one that was used for Leaf Week, which is awesome because yard waste really isn't always that heavy in my area, but in Leaf Week it was super heavy um, because of free leaf um, throwout. And it was just awesome to film because of all the big yard waste setouts. Also, the yard waste guy looked exactly like Bill's quarterback, Josh Allen. That's irrelevant. Um, this truck was just interesting to film because of the big Leaf Week setouts in that upload, which I will eventually post sometime down the road, will be um, very entertaining to watch. Coming in fourth are the Republic Services McNeil's Auto Reaches. Um, they're all on Mac LEUs, and they're all, they all really growl because they're diesel. Um, the reason I put these in here is because auto reaches are actually a side loader. They're a little more common in our area, but um, really with where where this area around here being really Corrado Can Central, there's not a ton of um, side loaders that much. So these Republic uh, auto reaches, I always like filming these, so that's why we make the list. And my final honorable mention is this Autocar WXX WXLL from Groot. It is one of the trucks that Ally Waste bought many years ago to replace some of the old BFI Hyo front loaders. Um, unfortunately, I never got really a full video of these um, before they went into Groot paint, but I think they're still pretty cool because they are pretty relatively old trucks, and they are just cool to watch, especially because they're diesel. And starting off my real list, uh, number 10 coming in is this McNeilis MA from Republic Services. MAs are one of the more common, um, one of the more common side loaders in the area, but again, um, there's not that many. Republic, it's actually pretty rare to see one from Republic. They only have a couple in the Melrose Park yard, which is where this yard, um, the MA is from. I've always liked this truck personally because it's brand new and shiny. Um, LRs are my favorite chassis pretty much, and, um, this truck is overall just really, really cool because of the fact that it is um, an MA, which, again, I really haven't filmed too many of those in there. Um, always fun to film, so that's why this one cuts the most. Coming in at number nine, and this one might be a surprise, it's the Mac LR Neil's Meridian. I filmed up in uh, Cameron, Wisconsin, in my lake house, uh, out of the Serrano yard, this one is. And it is, again, one of my favorite trucks I filmed. I'm not even really sure why, though. It's, um,. It's really not all that rare of a truck, but it's uh, just a cool one, in my opinion. Some of the backgrounds were cool, as you can see here, the woods um, in the background is pretty awesome. And um, the driver was nice. This truck really moved fast, and overall, it's just one of my favorite videos I've ever posted, so that's why I included it onto this list, which, um, yeah. So coming in at number eight is this old Flood Brothers High Oil front loader I filmed up in Lake in the Hills. Um, I filmed this one in some townhouses, um, but before in the townhouses I filmed it during a big rainstorm um, uh, in some, just some regular housing. Um, as you can see here, the ground looks pretty wet. Um, but this truck was just cool to film because it was, it was old, um, the truck itself sounded really good, and the driver was, uh, the driver was pretty efficient in um, picking up, so that's why I've always liked this truck. Um, some of, uh, Flood Brothers' old front loaders are beginning to be phased out. I've, uh, 
I would assume that these, this one's pretty old, so it eventually might go. And the Simon Eagle on this was cool because I imagine it's a one of the first, um, probably one of the first models, is, or first batches of Simon Eagle that were produced because it's pretty old. Coming in at number seven is the old Roystrom, uh, the Easy Pack Goliath that they run. This one's on a Mac LE, and I always like, I've always liked this truck. It, um, it was, I got one clip of a couple of years ago before finally getting a full video of this during Villa Park's Leaf Week. Um, this one was, again, it was cool to film just because it was, um, it's older, and the truck itself sounds fantastic, which is always awesome to hear a really good truck sound. The packer on this I really don't like, but it is a lot older of a rear loader, so it, um, you know, obviously the advancements in truck construction have come a long way. So that's why, um, then this truck is just overall pretty cool, and the Leaf Week got it a big boost, so that's why it's, um, number seven on my list of my favorite garbage trucks ever. Coming in at number six is this Canco Collector. Only the only reason it is a bit higher is because I've filmed it so many times. This this truck is awesome to film. The driver is my one of my favorite drivers I've ever met. Um, the truck itself is just awesome to see on a two um, two stream route. You don't always see these on two stream routes, so it is cool to see it. Um, and instead of doing bins, it does carts, so it uses the cart tipper. And I've always um, I've always liked semi-auto. I think it's probably my favorite collection method. Um, so that's why this truck reigns at number six. Coming at number five is this group front, group rear loader. Um, it's pretty old actually. It's on a Mac MR chassis. I posted a picture of this um, in, uh, I posted a picture of this and this one's probably been featured in that um, long video uh, of the garbage trucks compilation I did of about an hour long. Um, this is a cool old one because it is from West Chicago. And the route was between, um, the route was filmed in Glen Ellen, and some of the stops were some old public stops, as well as some of the old group slash crown stops. So it was interesting to see, um, all those different ones. And the Mac I'm on this one's on the test. Coming in at number four is this old, um, Roystrom Split G&H Reloader. Um, I've heard it was from 1990, apparently, on a 2001 Mac engine it is an awesome truck because it is just so old um it's a split tailgate which strum's um strum's rear loaders actually don't normally have split tailgates when they're two-way um the shagnons and uh loadmasters do not uh the truck itself sounds fantastic the le again always an awesome truck to film um this one was cool again because it is on a two-stream route um because like even when you get some of these rarer trucks um, that are split, like, uh, the co-collector, you don't always get them on two-stream route, so with this one on two-stream route, it was cool. Coming in at number three is actually might be a surprise to some of you guys, but it is the New Way Sidewinders and Lakeland video. Lakeland, I, Sidewinders, um, aren't the most common ones, but they are still, um, there are still a lot more common than a lot of the other rare trucks that I've filmed. However, I've always liked these trucks because they were pretty entertaining to watch. They flip lids and um, the new way, the new way is actually very similar to the Libri Automizer, which is another one I've always loved. So that is why this one gets such a high ranking on the list and the driver was really nice. Coming in at number two is this Winter Haven Lodal. This is just an awesome truck that I will, I've always loved um i saw the video of trash master 15 posting one of these and i knew i had to get out there and film it so i did um this thing was just awesome to film the crew was awesome and it's rare to see i don't think i've ever seen a two-man crew on anything other than a rear loader so um that was awesome to see this two-man crew on here the car variety in winter even was also cool. they had some i think these i think there's some old zarns out there that that one that just got tipped maybe um, I don't exactly know, but they also have some pulley carts, and then they've got some, um, auto, auto carts and some SSI Schaefer's, which are pretty cool. And overall, this truck was just so awesome to film because it really is a blast from the past. Um, Winter Haven also ran some curb tenders on Recycle, which was pretty cool. And coming in at number one, a truck that I consider to be, um, my favorite of all of these filmed was this, um... The, the original Coretto can. I filmed this one out in Gray's Lake. It was a 
longer drive than I normally take to go garbage truck hunting, but it was worth it. This is my favorite truck I've ever filmed, and it's just because, um, Corrado cans, I mean, I'm the Corrado can man, so I've always loved Corrado cans, and to see an original one, I haven't seen, I haven't seen one of these in five years, so it was just awesome to see one running into 2021. The truck, it, the Corrado is probably 15 years old. The truck itself was awesome. The driver was super nice and friendly, and I just can't say enough awesome things about this truck. I loved it so much. It was definitely my favorite truck I have ever filmed. That is just hands down my favorite one. Um, and then the car variety was also pretty cool, as you can see by that 120 site right there. Um, so that wraps up my list. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the start, but this list was only for the trucks I had filmed from 2020 and 2021, because I really don't, because before this, I never saved any of my footage, so I didn't have any footage from some of the older trucks that I filmed, like, um, you know, whatever I filmed back in the day, uh, like some of the rare trucks. So that's why uh, this was only, this was only some more rare trucks. Thanks for watching very much.